Hey. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. There we go. We should be all ready now. <sighs> we should be all ready. Not already. That's different. Um, for those of you who are watching for the first time, I'm Ali. I'm your English teacher. I'm an English teacher here in London. Um, you've probably seen some of my videos. I, I don't know. Anywho, um, happy Sunday. Happy beginning of May. I hope your month is going really good. Um, welcome to everyone. If this is your first time, let me know. Let me know. So, hey Ursula, hey Melinda, hey Atsuko, how are you doing? How are you doing? Um, hey Daria. William Reyes, good evening, long time no stream. Yeah, yeah, I've been, you know, doing stuff. So, in fact, on Wednesday, you'll see the first video on my channel for like a while. Um, I realized how long it's been. It's been a really long time. So, um, there we go. Oh, so, um, some news. There isn't any. Really, apart from the videos are coming back, and today we're we're back on English and Chill. So, um, if you want to learn anything English grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation related, let me know in the comments, and I'll teach you right now. So, for example, I do a um, speaking club on Patreon. You can join that. You can practice your English speaking skills with me, with a lovely group of people. It's a small group. Um, the link is in the description. There's four sessions every month you can join. Practice your English with me. It's really fun. Um, you don't have to come to all of them. So don't worry if your schedule doesn't work. It's like a gym membership. You can come whenever you want. One of those members, Kyoko from Japan, is an absolute legend. And she wanted to know what's the difference between already and yet. And I know that this is quite a common question. If you think you know what the difference is, great. But there's another meaning of yet that maybe you don't know. So this is what we're going to practice today. We've got we've got a lot to do. Oh, oh, the link's broken. Thanks, John. <laughs> of course it's broken. Oops, there we go. Thank you. You saved my bacon. There you go. Okay, the, the Patreon link should work now. Um, yeah, I think it should work now. Anywho, okay, so um, where are you watching from? Let me just get a rough idea of the countries. Where are you watching from? So Atsuko, I know you're watching from Japan because you're a legend and you've been in the speaking club before. You're an absolute legend. Um... Natalia, hi, it's my first time. Natalia, hey. Hey, bud. Hey, Natalia, how are you doing? Where are you from? Tell me a little bit about you. Um, William Reyes thought I got sick. Um, no, I, I didn't get sick. I've, I've been working. But on the bigger videos, I don't know if you saw the, like, the trailer for the big videos this year. I've been working on them, but I realized I neglected the regular videos so they haven't been 
There haven't been videos every week. This is terrible. And I, I need to fix that. So coming Wednesday, there's a new video. We're going to talk about movies in a very exciting video. Um, Umut is watching from Turkey, Joanna, from Poland. Hey, in Poland. Um, got a lot of really, really nice Polish viewers. Like, super nice people. Um, Warsaw. Hey. How you doing? Oh, Natalia's watching from Lithuania. I, f I definitely know some words in Lithuanian, but I'm not going to try because I'll get it wrong. So, um... Oh, Sanjay, my father is ill and weak. Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. I hope your father gets better really soon. Um, mate. Why do you say anywho? Isn't the right term anyhow? Um, well, I mean, it comes from any way. Who asked that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we can say anyway, but, you know, to be funny, to be different, you can say anyhow. Anywho, it's not like super common, but I enjoy saying it because it makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lars, where are you from, Ellie? I am from London. I was born like north, east, south, west, northwest London. And I've, okay, to make it simple, I'm from London. That's the easy way. Um, okay. Atsuko says yet means but. Depends on the context. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to look at already and yet and there are some other meanings that maybe you don't know. We're going to find out how to use them. I'm going to give you a task. You are going to use it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, Romelia, could you do a lesson with relative clauses that and which? That will need a video. I think that needs a whole video. So we'll, we'll have a look. I'll make a video for you. Don't worry. Uh, Delf, hello audience from Argentina. Yeah. Hey in Argentina. It, Argentina? Argentina. I noticed lots of you are watching from Argentina and I love you all. You're so nice. Everyone from Argentina has been so nice to me. So yeah. Big love for you guys. Okay, so already and yet, let's begin. Let's imagine you want to get food with your friend. So you ask, do you want to get food? Quick pronunciation. Practice with me. We know that. Do you? That's fine. You can pronounce it like, do you want to get food? However, that's not very, very common. More commonly, in conversation, we might just say, do you want to get food? J, j. Now, if you are a nerd who loves phonetics, it's this. It's, j oh, hang on. I can't remember now. J, j. Yeah. Do you can become j. Do you want to get food? J. Say it with me. It's like a J sound. J. Do you want to get food? Do you want to get food? You could also just say, duh. Whoops. I mean, it's not even a schwa there, to be honest. It's just like a duh sound. So, duh. Yeah. Oh, that's a terrible schwa. Terrible schwa. Would that be a good band name? Terrible schwa. I like that name. Might make that my, like, username for some websites. I don't know. Do you? Or... Do you? So, um, I will show you how we pronounce these. Practice it with me. Let's improve our pronunciation together because we're a family or something. So, this one. J. Do you want to get food? You say it. Do you want to get food? Next one. Do you? Do you want to get food? Do you want to get food? There is kind of a schwa there. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna add the schwa because, yeah. Do you? Do you want to get food? You, watching. Do you want to get food? Repeat it with me. Practice your pronunciation. Do you want to get food? 
Oh, John has a great example. Yeah. Do you want to get hot pot? Yes, I do. I want to get hot pot because I still haven't had it in London. Um, and John, you know the best place for hot pot in London, don't you? I think. You seem to be like the go-to for hot pot in London. Um, yeah. So that's that one. And then finally, you know what? I'm going to add another schwa right here. Do you. Do you. We usually use this pronunciation to contrast between one person and another person. For example, this person. Do you want to get food? No? Okay. How about you? Do you want to get food? Do you want to get food? Notice the you is more pronounced. That's why we have that pronunciation. Do you want to get food? So all of these ways to pronounce this are fine, correct, good. You can choose depending on the context. One might be better than another. So in general, uh, how can we do this? In general, those two are the common ones, the general ones. This one is more for singling one specific person to compare between everyone else, right? Do you want to get food? No. Do you want to get food? No. How about you? Do you want to get food? Hear the difference? Now you know how to distinguish that pronunciation. So practice your pronunciation with me. Very important. Um, Boxer Dog is a great username. Boxer Dog says uh, if we overpronounce, it's for more emphasis. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Cool. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to catch up with your um, comments. Boxer Dog says, or we could replace grub, which is more informal for food. So, yeah, you could, but it's not that common, Boxer Dog. <laughs> you could say grub for food. But yeah, it's not really that common. Like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, um, that's that, that's good. I'm going to remove this because we don't need this anymore. Um, wait, am I on the right thing? Yeah, good. Boop. Boop, and it's gone. Nice. Okay, do you want to get food? I, I do. I'm kind of hungry. I realize I haven't eaten today. It's quarter past one and I haven't eaten until now. Remember I said that because I'll come back to that sentence later. Okay. Her response. What do you think her response is? Yes. No. What do you think? If he says, do you want to get food? What is she going to say? Let me know in the comments. Chala new logger says, um, have you been vaccinated? Not, not yet. Um, I think, um, it's still in England. It's like for over people over 40, I think, I don't know. And they're saying like all adults will be vaccinated in, well, by the end of July, I think in London. Um, so honestly, I have no idea. Every week it changes. So uh, I don't really know if if it's going to be like one week, two weeks, another month that I have to wait. I don't know. How about you, Chala? Have you? You're in Turkey, right? How's the situation there? I know the... Um... Oh, wait, Turkey. No. Oh, I think the situation is quite bad, I think. I can't really remember. Hey, Eva Esteban. You're eating. Ah. Oh no, that's <laughs> that's your answer. She's I'm already eating. 
Ooh, interesting, interesting. So actually, this is what I wrote. I've eaten. I've eaten. So we're using present perfect here. You don't need to remember the, gra the grammar name. That's not important. But what I do want you to think about is, will she say, I've yet eaten or I've already eaten? What do you think? I've yet eaten or I've already eaten? Just know any anti-vax comments, you're going to get banned from this channel forever. So just please keep that in mind. No anti-science here. No anti-vax comments. You will get banned. Okay, so lots of people. Dimitri, uh, Ladin, I've already eaten. I've already eaten. Okay, this is overwhelmingly already. Great. I'm very happy about this because that's absolutely right. I've already eaten. Follow-up question. Can we say, I've eaten already? In other words, can we put... Whoops. Wait. Okay. Hang on. One second. That. Can I put this... No! Why won't you let me move you? Just let me... I don't want to read... There we go. Okay. I've already eaten. Or, can I say, I've eaten already? What do you think? Let me know. What do you think? One, two, or both? What do you think? Claudio says, I've already eaten. This is great. This works. Okay. Eri says, yes, you can. Yes, absolutely. Both. Uh, Nurina, Su Nurina Suhuli. Both. Well done. All of you are great. Zuzana, you're amazing too. This is perfect. Yep, you can absolutely put it here or here. It doesn't matter. Just so long as it's before or after this main verb. Eat. Hello. Please let me move this. Okay, I'm going to put it there for now. Okay. What does this mean? Why do we use it? So, if you don't know, I'll teach it to you. If you if you already know, then please bear with me. We'll get more advanced as this lesson progresses. So, if you don't know, already basically basically means before an expected time, or before an expected action. So, for example, this guy thinks that she hasn't eaten. She wants to say, oh, actually, yeah, I, I ate before. In those situations, you use already. Before uh, an expected time before an expected action, for example. So, um, did you, any questions so far? Can we use already a negative sentence? Yes, yes you can, absolutely. Let me give you an example then of a negative sentence. Wait one second, I think I haven't, No, we're all good. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, a negative sentence might be... Uh, oh, no. Let's keep these guys. Yeah, okay. Let's keep these guys. No, no. The negative example, that's coming soon. Don't worry. Yeah, I have an idea for that one. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll come back to that one. Okay. Okay.
yeah, this is where we're going next. Okay, this lady is very, very hungry. That's what her stomach is saying. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten what? What is the, what's the word we can use here? Already or yet? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Already or yet? Chala uh, says, it's terrible. The cases and deaths are increasing dramatically. Uh, there'll be a lockdown. There'll be a lockdown to the end of Ramadan. I haven't been vaccinated too. Oh, mate. That's, that's terrible. Oof. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, if... Lots of countries are really having a hard time right now. Um, it's awful. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know what to say. I mean, what can what can you say? Um, I'm really sorry, and I hope that you and your family and your friends stay healthy. That's all I can really say at the moment, you know. Um, so overwhelmingly, again, people are putting yet in the comments. Um. So Natasha said yet with a negative. That's interesting. Can we use already with a negative? I'll come back to that later. But for now, basically, yeah, yet. That's what we're doing. And if you don't know, if this is new information to you, yet, what does it mean? Yet means... until now. So, from a past time until now, um, no. So, yeah, basically like Natasha said, with a negative, <laughs> yet, no. So, nothing yet. Um, I haven't eaten yet. Notice that negative. I haven't eaten yet. Like I said, it's, okay, now it's 20 past one. I haven't eaten yet. I'm very hungry. This is this is me. This this character is me today. I haven't eaten yet. Ava Stebbins says, "Don't talk about COVID. I'm starving." You can't eat COVID, my guy. Uh, Diane Elisa is their class every Sunday. Um, hey Diane, how you doing? You doing good? How's your Sunday? Um, uh, there should be. There hasn't been for the last few Sundays. But now I'm hoping that my routine becomes more regular. So. Um, I'm going to say. The schedule is yes, every Sunday, but it hasn't been. But I'm hoping it will be. That's the worst explanation I could have given you, Diane. I'm really sorry about that. Jenny Hofer, thanks for joining the family. Thanks for becoming a member, Jenny Hofer. You're absolute legend. Um, Yuchuk says, what's the meaning of overwhelming? That's a good question, Yuchuk. Um... Oh, well, okay, in that context that I used it, I said what? In the comments? What is it? The answer is overwhelmingly yet. So, in that context, I mean, there's lots. There's so much this. It's, I, I'm being, I'm exaggerating. But basically, I mean, there's lots. Like, so many this thing. In that case there's so many yet comments and like one or two already comments that's why i said okay yet versus already overwhelmingly it's yet ryan says your handwriting is beautiful trust me ryan it's not um <laughs> i mean that is the handwriting of a child like a young child that writes with his own poo that's that's not beautiful writing but thank you 
I I don't know if that was sarcastic because my writing's so bad. Azale Serrano. That is a cool name. 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 Azale? Am I saying it right? That's such a cool name. Azale. I mean, you sound like a mythical person. Azale. That's so cool. I don't think I'm ever going to have kids in my life. But if I do, you know what the name's going to be? Azale. Um, as I, anyway, Azale said, what do you say? Can't wait to see more of your videos. Thank you, Azale. Ah, oh, see, now you're even more my favorite. So cool. Did I hiccup? I don't think I, I don't think I've hiccuped today. I'm not sure. Natasha, welcome to the family, Natasha. You absolute legend. Natasha, I hope your Sunday is going really, really well. You know what, Jenny Hofer, you joined the family too. Thanks. I hope your Sunday is going really, really well. And I hope you get a donut. I hope you get some ice cream. And you see that gif? It's for you. It's me smashing a glass over someone's head. But you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eris Lane says, can you please explain the meaning of the word fuss? Um, I saw that in my test and I got a bit confused. Eris Lane, I'm going to pin your comment because I will forget. So I think it's better if I just pin that comment to remind me later. Yeah, there we go. I won't ask you to remind me. I'll just, it's pinned now. So I won't forget. I can't forget. It's there. It's like right in my face. Okay. Um, where are we here? Yet means until now. So I want you to write your own examples in the comments using already and yet. I'm going to read my favorite ones. Okay. Um, but you definitely draw cool. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. What a legend. Um, Ava Esteban says, my family is already waiting for me to eat paella. <gasps> what do you put in your paella? And I have a question for you. In paella, do you only, do you only have prawns or shrimp in it? Like, is that the only acceptable paella? Because most of the time I'm vegetarian. So I ask for tofu. Is that acceptable or is that like, huh, that's a tourist paella. That's not authentic paella. I don't know. Maybe you can confirm. Okay, Barathi says, um, I've already been there. Great example. Perfect example. That's, that's lovely. Um, Barathi has a, another perfect example. This is, you're amazing, Barathi. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm probably not because I'm stupid. But I haven't written my homework yet. Look at you. Look at you, my guy. You're great. You're great. You're doing great. Um, Alex. Oh, God. What band is that? I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And I still... I shouldn't sing because copyright. That's going to bother me. What band sung that song? I still haven't found what I'm looking for. It's one of those really obvious bands and I can't think... It's not like Bruce Springsteen, but it's sim... <gasps> you too! Thank you, John! Yes. Yes. Tomek, Alex and Tom... Thank you. Thank you all. Um, I, I need you. Thank you. Eva Esteban says, rice with things. Oh, that's not paella. I knew it. I knew it. So if I have tofu with my paella, it's not like real paella. That's sad. I'm sorry. Melinda Verma says, I've eaten ice cream already. Ooh. Ooh. Now, what flavor ice cream? To me, nothing beats mint chocolate chip ice cream. 
you can't beat that. I will fight you if you say different. I mean, good mint chocolate chip. Like, Baskin Robbins. <sighs> it, that one's so good. That one's really, really good. Uh, ben and Jerry's Minter Wonderland. <sighs> so good. Anna D says, I haven't been vaccinated yet. I'm glad you said that because coming back to this. So when we say until now, there's also another feeling to it, right? So to make it very simple. Until now, no, but it is my plan in the future. Um, okay, maybe not soon. Soon is very relative, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to say the original thing. It's my plan. That one's not... There we go. So, yeah. Until now, no. But... It's in my plan. So, yeah, um, like I would say, I haven't eaten yet, but after this, I'm going to eat. So until now, no, but after this, I'm going to eat. I haven't eaten yet. So I will, but until now, no. Um, so like Anna D said, um, I haven't been vaccinated yet. Until now, no, but she will in the future. So when you say yet, um, there is that feeling of it's in my plan. Okay, so keep that in mind. There we go. Um, Boxer Dog, you have yet to explain the other meaning of yet. Oh, you're way ahead of me. Way ahead of me, Boxer Dog. Anna Maria has joined the family. That hasn't come up in the chat. That's weird. Anna Maria, welcome to the family. You get a nice little gif as well. A little splendid gif. Um, that's not come up in the chat. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. But anywho, Anna Maria, welcome to the family. You're a legend. You're a legend. Oh. Okay, Natasha has a really good comment right there. The best is yet to come. So yeah, until now, no. But in the future, yes. So this structure, that's actually really interesting. You know what? That needs its own page. Um, give me a verb, any verb, like any verb. Just throw a verb in the comments. Um, keep it family friendly because people complain to me and if I didn't write it, then <laughs> you get sad. Of course you would. Of course you'd write that verb. Just any, any verb that you want. Okay. Um, okay. I like those drink, climb, draw, push, sip. I like that. I like that. Oh, Shika Sharma has a good one. I'm already in love with you, but I haven't got your reply yet. That's a great one. That is a great one. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, someone wrote something about an ice cream and I've lost the comment now. Boo. Boo. Jump, dive, re read, read is good. Okay, okay. You know what? We don't need the we don't need the this for this. We don't need the iPad. I can just bring me bigger because you need to see something. That is a big me face. Okay. For those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, you might know that um, I started. <laughs> I started reading the Harry Potter books a while ago. Um, so I read this one. Love. This is the first one. I love the first. 
I love the second. Third one is absolutely my favorite so far. This one is just, I love this one. It's my favorite movie and also my favorite book. But yeah, who's a boxer dog? Of course, boxer dog. You're very active today. Yeah. Have you read Goblet of Fire? This book. That's how far I am. So I haven't finished yet. Until now, I haven't finished. But I will in the future. It's my plan. So I haven't finished it yet. But I can say... Oh, you know, I need to make me small again. Small, small alley. There we go. Tiny, tiny alley. Um, yeah, so what I can say is... I am and then we'll put this in another color because it's just easier to follow. I'm yet to read it. This book, have you read it? Mm, not yet. I'm yet to read it. Now, very important point about this structure. It's not common. It sounds quite formal. So if you say it in casual conversation, it might sound a little bit strange because it's mm, a bit too formal. So by all means, try your own example in the comments with that. Notice the structure here. I, whoops, to be, I am. You are, he is, she is, yet. And then the verb is to infinitive. I'm yet to read it. Um, yes, you can use this in past as well. Um, I was yet to read it um, until I heard the audiobook, for example. But that's even less common. So don't worry your mind with that. You don't need to worry. Um, yeah, this is not very common. I'm going to write in big red letters. Um, really not common. So it's good to learn because you might read it, you might hear it, but the majority of your English conversations will be casual. Even in business, People talk casually to each other, you know? So you don't need to use this so much. However, however, it's always good to learn the structures. So Uchok says, I'm yet to listen to it. You're forgetting the to, listen to, not listen it, listen to it. Okay, uh, next one. Um... Shodia says, I am yet to go my home. No, yet to go home. You don't need my. When you say home, we understand it's yours. So, I'm yet to go home. That one. Um, Ursula says, I love Harry Potter. I haven't heard about this structure yet. Now you have. Now you have. Melinda does not like Harry Potter. Why, why, Melinda? Why not? Um, the characters or the story? Do you not like fantasy stuff? Harry, Harizav says, I'm yet to get vaccinated. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, these are all perfect examples. You understand how that works, right? In a few different forms, but now this is your test. This should make everything perfectly obvious i hope that's my goal if it's not obvious that's my fault and i'm sorry that would make me a rubbish teacher so i'm sorry um snowflack says i haven't seen the new movie yet perfect well done amazing um Arathi has a great question. What preposition should be used before home? 
at or nothing. Um, if the verb is like go or come, come home, go home. You don't need a preposition. In fact, don't use a preposition. But if your action is inside your house, like I'm sleeping, where? At home. So if the action is inside your house, at. I'm sleeping at home. I'm working at home. Um, I'm, I don't know, working out at home. But if the action is movement in the direction of your house, nothing. Go home. I'm going home. I'm coming home. See the difference? Hey, Gulna, I am yet to sleep. Nice. Uh, yeah, but don't spam the chat. <laughs> Just be careful with that. Uh... Melinda says, I'm just not interesting about the story. Melinda, do you see your mistake with that sentence? I'm not interesting about the story. You're feeling interested. I'm not interested in the story. I'm not interested in the story. You can say the story isn't interesting. That's okay. But I'm not interested in the story. Yeah. There we go. Um, oh, there you go. Max has a great example for you, Barathi. Um, I'm doing nothing at home. Perfect example. Sorry, I keep hitting the microphone and that must be really annoying for you. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. If you want to unsubscribe, I will totally understand. Some of you have already unsubscribed, I'm sure. <laughs> I just wanted to use uh, already. Snowflack says, I've already been to Paris. Is that true? Did you go? Did you have fun? Did you eat a croissant? Important questions. Uh, Tomex is working from home. So, yeah, of course, um, this last year, um, everyone has been working from home. So that implies a whole different thing when you work from somewhere it's like from to right but um in general what i mean is in general if your action if you're doing something inside your house you're doing it at home that's all shall we go out to eat no let's eat at home yeah cool cool all right, cool. I'm wearing headphones and you're hitting the mic is not a thing. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Lovely. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, this guy says, let's get food. What is her reaction? What do you think? I can't remember what I put her reaction as. Um, oh, she doesn't have one. So that's good. Um... Yeah, what do you think uh, he could say after this? Let's get food. Look at her. You have some clues. What do you think is the situation here? Mehmet says, if I say anywho, do people understand me? Yep. Yeah, people, people understand that you mean anyway. It's just a fun way to say anyway. Yeah. Okay, so. If he is just looking at her, he doesn't know if she's eaten or not. He doesn't know. Have you eaten? It's a question. So, what do you think? As a question. Have you already eaten? Have you, what, oops, no, that one, yes, leave me alone, there we go, <laughs> Sayat says, who's paying, 
Good question. I, I guess that all depends, eh? Manuel says, have you eaten yet already? That's the question, isn't it? Right. So, to I, I want to make this very, very clear. So, if he doesn't know, then more commonly, you'd probably say yet. Now, yes, you could ask, have you already eaten? That's fine. But, in general, you would probably say, oh, um, have you eaten yet? You know, until now. Everyone eats. You know that they are going to eat. So, your question could be, have you eaten yet? And that's fine. Um, yeah, and of course, you could also say, have you already eaten? Have you already eaten? Have you eaten yet? You know, in general, they're both kind of the same thing. However, a big, big however right now. Um, how about if... Now we have evidence. Now, now we have some idea. What do you think? She has eaten, right? I mean, you can see her belly is like full of food. And there's an empty pizza box right there. So, what will he say? <gasps> Wait! Have you... What? Already? Or yet? What do you think? Yeah, Atsuko's got it, yeah. Um, have you... Oh no. No, not Atsuko. Who? Ladan, well done, yes. Have you already eaten? So in this case... Oh my god. What is wrong with this thing? There we go. In this case, he knows. He knows that she has eaten. But they had plans. They had plans to eat together. And she ate before eating together. Before he expected her to. Remember I said about expected times or expected actions. That's when we use already. So, this is now not a general question. This is now... He can see the pizza box. He can see that she is full of food. So, he might say, oh, Wait, have you already eaten? Anticipating her reply, Yep. I've already eaten. Sorry. Yeah, I've already eaten. I don't need food. Naughty girl. Exactly. Yeah. Mammy Mima. Exactly what a naughty girl. Definitely. Boo. To be honest, if I had a pizza, I'd probably go for another one. And yeah, actually, a lot of you have written already just as one word you could you could also just be like oh, already you don't need the whole sentence wait have you eaten oh, already Ooh, okay boxer dog has a very good point here boxer dog says in american english did you eat already is also possible yes so when we talk about British English and American English, there's not one correct or wrong um, way to speak English. They're both equally correct. They're just different styles. However, I often say, I'm a teacher and I say it. So I'm telling you, it's okay. You can say it. This, we have been using present perfect this whole lesson, right? Have you eaten? I've already eaten, but yes, it's fine. You can use past simple. Um, did you already eat? That's fine. 
Um, I didn't eat yet. It's fine. The style is American, but it's it's not wrong. It's fine. If anyone tells you that's wrong, send them to me. I'll punch them in the face for you. Don't worry about it. Everyone's going to be fine. The worst kind of betrayal. Susanna. Yes. Susanna, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, you get it. If so if you have plans to eat with someone and they they eat before you're supposed to eat together. I mean, can you even be friends with it? Okay. I've done that before a few times. It, like it's fine, you just you lie. You lie about it. Okay. Which means if she wanted to lie about this, she could say, um, we're going to put this down here. No. No, I haven't already eaten. Someone asked, can we use already in a negative? So, yes, you can, but usually it would just be to contradict something like this, right? Have you already eaten? No, I haven't already eaten. You hear that? You're answering a direct question. Um, have you already finished? No, I haven't already finished. See? So, that would be the most common way to use already in a negative by replying to an already keep that in mind okay um do 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 i think that's all good yep yeah, so that's the difference between when you use it positive negative and questions so what's left well, I told you there's another meaning of yet. There's another meaning of yet. And this is where we learn that. So, um... <laughs> if I step and says, no, I was tasting the pizza. Yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, man, now I want pizza. See, I hate using pizza in, in these lessons because I, I always want pizza. And I want like double cheese. No, like triple, all of the cheese. All, any cheese that you have, put it on the pizza and give it to me. That's all I want. It'll make me very happy. Um, okay, so in this situation, she is very happy with herself. I ate all of your pizza. So, these two are a couple. They love each other, really. They they love each other, but... Is this you? Like, have you ever done this to your partner? Have Maybe your partner had some food, they were saving it, and you're like, I'm just going to eat it. Have you ever done that? And did you stay together? After. John wants a quattro formaggio. What is that the four cheese? What are the four cheeses? Also, yeah, I want that. I, I really want that. Have I, have I done this before? No. No, I respect... When it comes to food, I respect people's um, food ownership. I, I will never eat your food. If you're looking forward to eating something... I'm never going to eat your food, so don't worry. You can trust me around your food. Um, my stepdad's like really bad with that. My my mum has to like hide all the chocolate because my stepdad will just eat it. So Marco Aurelio says, I've done it with the leftovers, so it doesn't count. Doesn't it? I mean, I asked the question and that's what came to your mind. So I, I feel like you know that you ate someone's food. 
and you're trying to make excuses now, Marco Aurelio. I feel like you're trying to explain your actions. Mozzarella, gorgonzola, parmesan, ricotta. Ooh. Take the ricotta off and I'll eat the rest of the pizza. That sounds great. That sounds really good. Cheese is, is the one thing I can't I can't go full vegan because I love cheese so much. Um, Sergio Rivera says, the question is, have, have you forgive someone? I think you mean, would you forgive? Would you forgive someone who did that to you? I'd be very salty with them. I'd be very like, what the f why would you do that? You know, anywho, so... This guy um, is very upset about this. And he says, I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. And yet I still love you. This is the best context that my brain could give you today about the other meaning of yet. So yet can mean until now, no, but in the future, yes. Or the second meaning. So, yet. The second meaning of yet is kind of like but. Kind of like but. Notice the structure here. And yet. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So, let me give you another example of this. Um, the weather is so nice. And yet, it's very cold outside. So, it's very sunny. The sun is very bright. And yet, it's very cold. Um, I'm a fan of the Harry Potter books. And yet, I still haven't finished the fourth book. You know? Lovely burp. That was not a burp. That was a hiccup. There's a difference. A hiccup is <gasps> a burp is blah. I didn't burp. I hiccuped. Have you tasted? Chalice says, have you tasted any Turkish cheese? Turkish cheese? Is it different to normal cheese? I, I didn't know there's a special Turkish cheese, but now I want to try it. Um, Patricia Fernandez says, my ex has done that to me. <gasps> Patricia Fernandez, is that why they're your ex now? Because if so, you made the right decision to break up. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't let that happen. Because what? First they eat your food. The next, what are they going to do? Kill your pets. You can't trust a person like that. Um, Ava Esteban, however. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but, however, it's the same thing. So. Same thing. Yeah. So I want you to try your own sentences using yet in the comments with this context to mean but. Um. trying to think of another example now uh mm, okay i say that i'm a vegetarian and yet i still eat burgers mammy mama says you're going to make me starve and yet i won't break up with you perfect example perfect example mammy mama you're a legend well done um Shodia says, can we say I have not eaten yet? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Um, Ursula, okay, I haven't heard about that meaning of yet either. Ooh, this was new for you, Ursula? That's cool. Okay, th I love this. When you learn something new, I love this. This is a great feeling for me. Um, huh. Okay. Paulo, it's a pity I've just arrived here. Hi from Brazil. Hey in Brazil. Bon dia. Tudo bem? How is everything in Brazil today? 
I had plans to go to Brazil last June. That didn't happen. Boo. I guess it'll either be... I don't know. Probably this winter or next year now, I suppose. Ava Esteban, I'm so hungry, and yet I'm still watching. Perfect example. Love that example. But you should eat, Ava. Go eat the paella. Your family is waiting, remember. Did you forget about your family, Ava? I didn't forget about your family. They need your paella. They're going to starve if you don't feed them. Please, feed your family. Hey, Jennifer Gomez, I've already eaten, and yet I'm still hungry! Whoa! That is an amazing sentence! Wow, okay, Jennifer Gomez, you're, you're amazing, you know what? You, you get pinned, you're amazing, well done. Jennifer Gomez, I've already eaten, and yet I'm still hungry. That's amazing. You're amazing, well done. That is a great, great sentence. Jason David Bermuda Hernandez, Hello from Colombia. Which city in Colombia? I love my Colombian viewers. Um, yeah, I, I I miss. Oh man, I miss Colombia. I want to go back so bad, but you know, the world has ended. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, as soon as you know everything's okay. Oh. Jennifer, okay, yes, I pinned Jennifer, but I also, okay, John, thanks for reminding me, because what did I tell you, that I would forget about the the question, I can't remember who asked it, but someone asked about the word fuss, was it Eris Lane, was it you Eris Lane, I feel like it was you, who asked about the word fuss, okay, you know what, we'll come back to this if we need, but for now, uh, let's make a new thing, whoops, no, we're done with you. Uh, fuss. So, fuss. Um, uh, yeah, a fuss. Well, there's a few different ways to use this word. So, as an adjective, uh, hmm. You know when you go in, like in Starbucks, or any any coffee shop, and people are like super specific with their orders. Um, I want a skinny, um, mocha, orange, frappuccino. with extra cream, but no coffee. It's ridiculous and very, very specific. So the, this type of order this type of specific preference is called oops fussy and that's an adjective to be fussy you're very very specific about your preference not just food it could be about dating as well so I don't know, what's your, uh, I don't know, what type of person do you like to date? Oh, you know, I like to date someone who is exactly two years and two months older than me, and they have to drive a red car, and they have to work in finance, and they have to be an Orthodox Christian, and they have to, well, an Orthodox Christian who converted two years ago, you know, very, very specific about your preferences. That's fussy. Are you fussy? Ooh, thank you, Boxer Dog. Yep, you could also say picky. Eh. 
picky means the same thing. <laughs> you're fussy or you're picky. Maybe it's this making me hiccup, I don't know. Mm. But that wasn't your question, was it? Your question was about fuss. And how do we use fuss? Yeah, so like Natasha wrote, I thought it was to make a fuss. Yep, that's the other way we can use fuss. In that case, fuss is a noun. Um, okay, there's a few different contexts we could use this. Um, hmm. Ooh, you know what? We could use this same guy. Do you like how, so this application is called Procreate. It's on an iPad. Um, and the angle that I'm drawing is quite strange. So I can't draw very straight, but the good thing is, um, if I draw a line or a circle, it doesn't matter if it's rubbish. The app will just make it completely straight for me. So really, really good. angrier. There we go. Arrgh. Arrgh. Um, and then the poor person that works at Starbucks. Just has to listen to this person be an asshole. My lines are so bad today. <laughs> yeah. Um. So let's say he orders that, right? Um, and she says, we, I don't know, we don't have any um, cream, let's say. How do you feel about cream? on your coffee. I don't have it because it's just, it's too much for me. Like in a Frappuccino, so many calories. So for me, like cream on top of it is like, all right, that's too much. However, that may, maybe that's a bit stupid because if I already have, I honestly think a Frappuccino is like 500 calories or something. If I'm having that much, why not have the extra cream, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, so Erislaine Oliveira said, oh, was it you? I think it was you that asked this originally. So let me pin your comment because you deserve it. And you're just a legend. And thanks for joining the stream. Um, by the way, tell your friends about this stream. Um, I need to get my numbers up. So if you have any friends who are learning English, tell them about my channel. Tell them about this English and chill. Get them involved. Because you tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, and soon everyone in the world knows about it. That's the goal, you know? We have to make this the biggest um, English channel on YouTube. That's the goal for this year. Okay. So, um, yeah, we don't have any cream. So this guy is super, super angry about that. Oh my god, you don't have any cream? What the hell? Um, he's just saying a bunch of words that we can't repeat on the thing. Um, there we go. He's just very, very angry. So, when someone does this... We could say... He is making a, you guessed it, fuss. He's, ma oh, he's making a fuss. So Eris Lane said, is this positive or negative? Well, you can see in this example, it's negative, of course. Um, you're causing a problem. You're causing a lot of drama, essentially. But 
there is another context um often it's like with parents or grandparents with a baby have you ever seen a parent or a grandparent with a baby and the, how do they act oh the little do you do 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 you're so cute with a big like that with a baby that is also making a fuss all right so i wonder if we can is this all one layer it is oh shit That is nice. There we go. Um, if I can quickly draw a little baby. There we go. That's basically a baby. Oops, where's she looking? There, she's looking at the baby. Oh, my cute little baby. She is... making a fuss this is where we need a preposition if there is an object here so for example making a fuss the baby now we need a preposition and you can use of or over so um the guy in starbucks he's making a fuss over his order, right? He's creating a lot of noise, a lot of drama about his order. He's making a fuss over his order. He's such an idiot. He wants cream, but we don't have cream. He's making a fuss. Get security. You know? The mother is making a fuss of her baby or over the baby. Both are okay. So it could be positive in that case. Or it could be negative in the guy in Starbucks who wants his cream. So, Erislane, there's your answer. It could be positive. It could be negative. It depends. Yeah. Um, Mehmet says, can we use the fussing <laughs> form? So, in other words, I've used this as a noun. Can it be a verb? Great question. Yes. Um... Let's make a sentence. She, whoops, she is fussing again with a preposition of or over this. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> I ran out of space. I can't write any more words. Um, here we go. <laughs> yeah. So I hope that made sense. Oh. Now everything makes sense. Thank you very... You're very welcome, Iris Lane. Thank you for asking the question. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So, if anyone has any more questions about prepos uh, prepositions... No. Pronunciation. Let me know in the comments. And we're going to end it pretty soon. So, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Please tell your friends about this stream. Um, tell them to tell their friends. Tell your English class to watch this stream. Tell them to watch my videos, which will start again on Wednesday. I've got a good one for you. It's going to be a fun one. Um, Ajan Smith says, I couldn't understand. When do we use it? Angry or happy? Both. In both cases, it's quite dramatic. They're making noise. So fuss can mean noise in this context, right? So 
both happy situation with a baby, angry situation about the cream. Can be both. Um, yeah, so we should be back next Sunday. Um, there will be a video on Wednesday and on Saturday. Big week. I know. Um, you can join my speaking club on Patreon. Thank you, John. The link is in the description right there. Um, yeah, it's on Patreon. The link is in the description. It's in the comments. The sessions don't start until next Sunday. So you have time to join. Don't worry. But there is a limit to how many people can join. So maybe worry. I don't know. Yeah, cool. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time.